wait, wait, wait. Y'all got to repeat what you just said about that job thing. A lot okay. of people start okay. from there. Okay. A lot of people uh, say that their job is, is who they are, and that's what they relate to. And by the same token, I think that if you look at, at people who have their past, that's who they are in their mind. Yes. All they can relate to. Yes. So when when they all of a sudden have to let go of that, they don't want to. Who am I? If who you, am I? Yeah. If you look at a person who keeps on going back to, let's say, a guy who keeps on beating them up, and they, they get rid of the first husband because this is what, what you know, they have and they say, oh, I'm going to get rid of him and he's no good. But guess what? The next next husband, next boyfriend is the exact same thing with a different face. They have to break the cycle. Yeah. The cycle is, is so embedded in them, they, they literally need to break the cycle. That's right. And, and that's, and that's what, what your whole sermon is on, breaking the cycle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what were you saying, Marlene? Well, basically, people look at the world to validate them. Like, yes. Like, was saying about when you have a job and people will say, that $150,000 a year job and this is what validates me. Mm -hmm. And all the baggage that people have, it just goes, it just goes with them and it continues to stay with them instead of laying at it at the feet of the Lord and allowing the Lord to do the healing right. and going through the pain because it's not easy. When you hurt and that pain is like literally a scab. When you first get that uh, scab and that sore yes. on your knee or wherever it is, yes, just say your knee or whatever, it hurts. Yeah, but it, it, you have to let the bandage, take the bandage off, and allow the Lord to heal your heart and to heal all that and let go of it, and not say, okay, this is what makes me okay because this defines who I am. And a lot of people get lost in that. Right. The majority of people that are walking around in hurt and pain, and, and that's why a lot of the saying goes that money can't buy happiness, and money can't buy love, and these things that because the world says money defines you. The world says if you have this kind of degree, if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you were this or if you were that, but you don't have my healing, you don't have my love, and you don't have that. You st you're still angry at your father for not leaving you or not being there or a divorce or whatever you've gone through. Because everybody has, we all have our own story. Everybody has a testimony. When you bring it to Christ and let Christ heal, it's a testimony. Right. But all the brokenness is a story. Yes. It has to be told. And when you say, okay, Lord, help me. I need help. And I'm willing to do whatever I have to do to find healing through you and walk in it. And whatever he says, you do. And don't, uh, you know, uh, uh, don't turn away mm -hmm. when it gets hard. Because it's going to hurt. And it's, on, it's going to get hard. But if you allow him to work on you, that that little sore on your knee, it will heal completely. Exactly. But you have to trust him. Exactly. And you can't look at man and look at the world and let the world be uh, what, what you say. It's what you allow to say that mm -hmm. I'm validated and I'm okay because the world will give you a pass all the time and you're so lost 